What up, what up, Mr. Hip Hop Vegan, coming with another video. And today this is going to be my last video talking about this this stupid situation, but let's, let's just take it on real quick because it's a big waste of time and I'm not going to put 30 minutes up of nonsense, but they don't even know what they're talking about. First of all, I want to talk about um, mentoring and stuff like that and, and gurus and, and not, let me see how you say, and not um focusing on one thing <clears throat> well if you, if you know what I did for the last three years you probably won't be people won't be talking what they're saying so Dave Ramsey I can I consider him a mentor you know I buy his information I buy his books and stuff like that and for the last three years what I have done is paid off all my debt so when you have a dummy saying that that you don't follow one thing and I just proof right here for the last three four years that's all I've been doing is paying off all my debt and actually taking the principles of his book and adding it to my life is that simple yes I do work a job 17 hours a week want to get you know more into having my own business and it's funny when people can say oh I started my own business I've done that before you know I, I bought stuff from the flea market and sold at the flea market but it failed um, and it's funny how you and it's, it's failure is okay. I mean, if you're doing something, but if you're still in the same position today and you say, I've done all this and you're still in the same position, then maybe you need to go get a job because your entrepreneurship skills is not leading you anywhere. So if you've done all this and done all that and you're still in the same situation, then um, sometimes people need to quit while they're ahead. And um, and, and another thing, um, getting, getting um, information from people and, and, and stuff like that, like uh, uh, Gary Vaynerchuk, who I also got his books, got his information, and I actually studied his information before I even seen him on The Breakfast Club. And when he came up with the situation where he had young kids ask him, like, where should they start in life if, if they wanna be an entrepreneur and stuff like that? And he told him, go to the dollar store, go to, to um, garage sales, buy stuff and sell it online. That simple. That's all I wanted to say is that simple. But you always have people who are too smart for themselves, who think they know everything. That's the problem. These people with the egos and stuff like that, they think they know more than what they really do and they haven't really done anything in their life. And um, and, and, and the funny part, when it comes to emotions, a lot of them, they, they just so emotional and they come, you hit them in the right spot and they just come out with emotions. A 30 minute video of emotions, of stupid shit that doesn't even make sense. Um, as far as me spending money on on um, seminars, I've been to his seminar. I spent this year so far fifteen hundred dollars in education, no free education. And and for dummies who say um, do not get free information from YouTube, that's the whole point of YouTube is to be able to get good content from people who are doing the right things, and they offer free content all the time. Am I, you know, there's people who offer seminars for 20 G's, real estate seminars, and a lot of the people that, that I've been talking to lately and dealing with, they say, you know, you pay them 20, 20,000, 30,000 for them seminars, and they don't even work sometimes. So paying for, you know, shit that you don't have to pay for, don't, you know, don't listen to these people, oh, they won't even pay it. And it's funny, I used to get advice from this person and stuff like that, so I guess getting advice from broke people, which I, I did get advice from broke people because I'm, I'm pretty sure he wasn't balling at the time. So I, I always asked him for advice. And I never needed to say, oh, he's not making this amount of money, so I'm not going to ask him for advice or, or follow a, a, a certain way of doing something because somebody's not making that type of money. And, um, and, and, that's, and, 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 and to come up with stupid stuff and to make a whole video of... of what type of business people you need to watch out for. I call these people the e or the, the, the metaphysical Eeyores because they all be always depressed about something. It's, it's, it's like a Gemini thing when it's all about depression. It's all about, oh, life sucks. Oh, I, I don't want to be on the sales side of real estate because um, these people be bugging. Oh, I don't want to do this. It's, it, they sound like a bunch of Eeyores and stuff like that. A bunch of Eeyore donkeys and... and it's just an emotional trip and, and the thing is when you hit him with the emotion that's when it's like a Kanye West when he went to Sway in the morning he just started uh, it's, it's, sometimes they're just too smart for themselves and they might be smart but if they're in the same situation today where they were years ago and they're saying they started all all these businesses and and they're still in the same situation then 
I think it's time to maybe go get a job or something. Because it's funny, a lot of these people say they, they, they're into entrepreneurship and always need help from people who have jobs. People who have, you know, good credit who have jobs. But help me out, you know, you have a job, but then they want to talk shit because they swear they're entrepreneur one-on-one -on -one and shit like that. Get the fuck out of here. Nobody really gives a fuck about that shit. Um, I, I know a lot of smart people who have jobs and... And me, I'm not, I, you know what, it's funny, I, I gave my two cents in the entrepreneurship world because in the last two months, just on eBay, I made 300 bucks. And it's kind of exciting to me, you know, that I, I wanted to make extra money and put money in my pocket, you know, and, and, and focus more on the real estate part. And, and it takes money, you know, it, it takes resources and it, and it takes networking, it, it takes gas money. But when people come with, with information that they don't know about and make a whole 30 minute video, which is ridiculous because it's all a, a whole emotional video of stuff that he never has done and he's still in the same situation. So I could have made a, a, a video about who the people that you should not trust. And I probably, can, you know what? A person who you shouldn't trust in business is somebody who, who's been in multiple business uh, uh, groups and, and, and with different partnerships and they, and, and they fall out with all their partnerships. If they fell out with multiple people do business, more than five or six, then they're the problem in business. Um, people who say they open so many businesses and stuff like that and they're Mr. Entrepreneur and they're still in the same situation today when they were years ago and they're still in the same situation, stay away from people like that, you know? <laughs> you gotta stay away from people like that since they're master entrepreneurship and they know everything. That's the problem with some of these people. They're too smart for themselves. They they think they know everything and they really don't, you know? And, and, and that's the problem. They read a couple of books and, they, and they're, sir, you know? And, 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 the, and, the, and the good part is they give you um, like resources like, oh, uh, Sylvester Stallone did this and Sylvester Stallone, uh, this person did that to become successful. Um, but in, if you look at the big picture, only a, a, a small percentage of people really make it. If you, if you look, if you really do your research, you know, how come they never tell you the story about the guy who mortgaged his home and, and went broke and is now homeless because he mortgaged his home to open up a business? They never say that part. And, and most people fail. I'm not saying they don't, but if you look at it, most people fail. So if you got this God consciousness thinking that uh, you have, you know, people always want to bring people up that that made it, but they never tell you the people who didn't make it, and it's most people who didn't make it. It's, it's, it's a bigger percentage, about 80 to, probably 75 to 80 percent of the people who, who start a business and, and who fail. You know, they say, um, uh, uh, what is it, three out of five businesses in the first year or first five years fail maybe one in, in like 10 years uh, actually stay up and running so do your research and stop coming up with these stories that oh one person did this one out of a million person did this so it's it's obtainable by everybody which you know if you you, you got that thinking big and stuff like that you can but um be be truthful at the same time and uh, another group of people you should you should you know uh Shouldn't trust in business as people who, who are 40 years old and still live at their mom's house, you know? You can't trust people like that. They're an entrepreneur and they still live at mom's house and, you know, and, and, and stuff like that. So, you know, it's so easy to come up with stupid shit, stupid egotistical stuff. So I'm just going to leave it at that. This is the last time I'm going to respond to stupid shit because it really don't matter. Sometimes you got to hit them hard. And, you know, when Geminis come, they get emotional. They probably, you know, oh, this and that. And it's, it, at the end of the day, it really doesn't fucking matter. Um, most like a lot of times, you know, it's just you hit them in the right spot and it's, it's a wrap. So thank you for watching my video. Uh, last time I'm going to respond. I might just create another channel of positive shit and, and take my, my train of thought into a different, different world. Because it, it really don't matter. I really don't care what people say or what people have to say. Uh, they're the number one this and the number one that. At the, and when you look at the bigger picture, nobody actually gives a shit, you know, because I think they think they're the only person who's going to heaven because they think they're doing the right things. And it, it, it's been the same way forever. Look at this and look at this Illuminati and, and read newspapers and make up numbers and numerology this. And, man, we can all talk shit about that whole shit. And at the end of the day, it's been years like that. Same shit, different day. So thank you for watching my video. One.